There is a large difference between the American and British film industries. The American industry is a lot more profitable than the British film industry. This is because the American film industry has what is known as the Big Six, which have advantages because of the resources available to them. They work by hor horizontal immigration uh, integration, which allows them to uh, ad advertise to a greater audience because they also own distribution companies as well as production. On the other hand, British films do not have this kind of setup. La the Lady Killers was, was directed by Alexandra McIndrick, starring Alec Guinness, Peter Sellers and Cecil Parker. Released in the UK on the 8th of December 1955 and the 20th of February 1956 in America. The plot of this film is about a gang who plan a bank robbery and find themselves living with a little old lady who, they, who thinks they are musicians. When the gang set out to kill the old lady, they run into one problem after another and ultimately fail. <coughs> the film was remade in 2004 by the Coen brothers with Universal Studios starring Tom Hanks, Marlon Wayans and Erna P. Hall and share the same plot. The content of the two films are quite different, mainly the comedy. Alexandra McIndrick's film was a mix of the ordinary and the brutal. It was a comedy about hilarious attempts about trying to kill an old woman, but ultimately failing. On the other hand, the Coen Brothers version uses a lot of cartoon-like gags. For example, having irritable bowel syndrome and someone accidentally shooting themselves in the head. This shows the difference of sense of humour between the times and the country. The response of both the films are roughly the same, although the British version is seen as more of a classic. William Rose was nominated for an Oscar in 1957 at the Academy Awards in the USA for Best Writing and Best Screenwriting. Kate Johnson was a, won a BAFTA for Best Actress and William Rose won a BAFTA for Best uh, Screenplay. It was nominated for the Best British Film and Best Film from Any Source. The US version won three awards and nominated for four. Although it is not looked at as a classic, the US version had an advantage over the British one, however. Due to Universal Pictures being a major, major studio <coughs> subsidiary of the conglomerate of Comcast and General Electric, which are one of the, the big six major film studios. An example of this is that the original Lady Killers was re-released in 2002, just two years before the remake. This is to gain an audience for the remake and make more of a profit.